Now we will continue with the next topic, which is dealing with the Russian uh, tax system. First of all, uh, uh, let me tell you that development of Russian uh, tax system was uh, quite specific due to the fact that in Soviet times, the taxation system of our country was very specific. We, most of uh, everything belonged to the uh, government and uh, due to that fact the system of taxation was pretty special. We used to have uh, personal income taxes and some other taxes, but we, the taxation of business practically unexisted. So the development of post-Soviet Russia needed uh, practically absolutely new system of taxation because the majority of enterprises start to be privatized and stop to belong to the government. The taxation system was practically uh, started from the zero point. And the development of Russian taxation system in 1990s uh, was uh, full of uh, obstacles, mistakes, but uh, anyhow, uh, some development appeared. First of all, uh, the system of uh, absolutely new taxes like a corporate profit tax or uh, value added tax has been established. But at the same time, some uh, additional tax burden which appeared in 1990s provided uh, practically inability of uh, the government to collect enough taxes. The level of tax collection was uh, lower than 30 percent in 1990s. But anyhow, development uh, went to the point and the, the government recognized that we need a substantial reform of taxation, which has been started at the urge of new millennium. And uh, the reform took uh, place during the the beginning of new millennium and uh, year 2004. Um, so majority of the tax taxes has been reconsidered. And uh, in the new millennium already, the development of Russian tax system start to be much more efficient and uh, transparent. Uh, speaking about the major taxes which are existing now in Russia, we have uh, to consider that among the direct taxes, the leading role belongs to corporate profit tax, which level is now 20%. It used to be 24, now it is 20. Personal income taxes, which now having the flat rate of 13% only, which makes Russia uh, among being one of the leading countries in terms of the low uh, personal income taxes, at least in Europe. And the next uh, quite important uh, tax is mineral extraction tax, which uh, quite special for majority of uh, Western countries, uh, where mining is not playing such a great role in the GDP, but in Russia, mining industry is one of the most important, especially in terms of uh, the budget surplus and the mineral extraction tax playing a very important role. Uh, speaking about the indirect taxes, we have to mention that VAT is uh, the most important. Among those right now, the ratio of VAT is 20%. It used to be 18%. Recently, uh, it has been increased since the start of year 2019 up to the level of 20. The uh, highest uh, tax pressure belonging to the most profitable and uh, the most developed uh, sector of Russian economy, oil and gas. Speaking about the uh, Russian tax climate advantages, we have to uh, consider that the modern system of taxation in Russia uh, is based on um, based uh, taxation theories and practices which are existing in the world. Uh, right now, Russian government is not trying to uh, collect all different types of taxes and put the additional burden 
to the businesses, the dialogue uh, between government and business providing the way to uh, consider the major problems of business and the Russian government is promising not to increase the tax burden towards the business. Uh, among the na national specifics, uh, already mentioned that the um, mineral extraction tax, which uh, is not existing in the majority of uh, Western countries. Uh, one of another important features of Russian taxation system is uh, relatively low level of taxation. Uh, the corporate profit tax is among uh, low rated compared to other Western economies. Uh, already mentioned the personal income tax is having the flat 15% rate, which also makes it pretty low compared to majority of other countries, at least uh, comparing with the developed Western economies. And we also have to mention uh, among the major advantages of the current taxation system in Russia, the pretty good level of uh, tax administration and tax collection. Um, it has been mentioned uh, previously that in 1990s, Russian government was able to collect only 30% of the taxes. Right now, the level of tax collection went up to uh, 80 and sometimes even 90%. Uh, speaking about some other uh, features of Russian taxation system, we have to uh, consider that uh, current Russian taxation system is uh, trying to be as much efficient as it possible, uh, again, while using the, the best practices and uh, being based on some uh, most popular taxation theories. Uh, having as a major direction uh, to provide the easiest way for business to be developed and the Russian economy to grow. Uh, involving uh, some quite high-skilled professionals in a, a taxation system trying to react to the major and the most significant uh, changes in the global uh, financial markets and the um, global commodity markets and in general development of Russian economy and uh, uh, dealing with most important uh, trends in global taxation. Speaking about uh, some uh, linkages between taxation and economic growth, we have to consider that the uh, reforms which took place in the beginning of new millennium provided uh, quite a solid base for the fast economic growth in Russia, in the, especially between 2003-2008. Um, the new way of taxation, the decrease of the number of taxes and decrease of the level of taxation provided easier way for business to develop Russian economy. Also, it is, uh, it is important to mention that the introduction of uh, personal income tax uh, flat rate uh, provided a positive impact towards the tax collection because uh, majority of the companies and their physical persons uh, had no specific interest towards the tax avoidance and uh, minimization of uh, the salaries and other incomes to pay those 15 percent. But uh, of course we have to mention the problems which appeared especially uh, during the global financial crisis 2008-2009. Uh, then some challenges appeared and the Russian government was able to keep the, the previous system of liberalization. But the uh, changes which appeared since 2014, their unfortunate uh, negative economic growth, the drop in um, 
oil and other major Russian export items prices on the global markets pushed Russian government to have some uh, steps backward already mentioned increase in uh, VAT which appeared this year and uh, the um, increase in uh, unified social taxes which have been reformed into compulsory payments of uh, medical insurance and pension funds. Uh, speaking about the prospects of Russian taxation, uh, we have to consider that the fiscal role of uh, the Russian tax system uh, will keep its priority because the issue of uh, budget surplus and the budget in general is uh, the most important one for uh, Russian government. But at the same time, the regulative role of the taxation system should increase its importance and in future it's supposed to be a more important issue compared to the fiscal role. And of course, the uh, most optimal balance between the fiscal and uh, regulative role of taxation system has to be chosen by the Russian government. And of course, uh, the fiscal role of the government is uh, important for budget surplus and for government in general, but uh, then higher are taxes, then less attractive uh, the, uh, that situation for business. And of course, in that uh, case, the interest of government and business is supposed to be somehow uh, regulated and negotiated. And um, if the taxes in Russia will continue to grow like it, that happened this year. That will make the business climate and investment climate in Russia not as attractive for foreign business as well as for local business. And of course, Russian government has to keep that in mind uh, while considering the future development of our taxation system and ability uh, not to increase any taxes in future. Also, it is uh, important to mention while considering Russian tax system that uh, the expectation of the public and the business due to the development of Russian uh, tax system uh, are sometimes uh, pretty negative due to the fact that uh, Russian government recently has increased the uh, taxes and of course uh, the future development of that issue is supposed to be uh, done uh, quite um, uh, gently, I would say, in, in the terms not to uh, make the conflicts between the government and the business. And uh, some new issues which appeared in, uh, after the presidential election 2018 uh, including uh, the increase in the age of retirement, which somehow also delinked with uh, the issues of taxation and the budget surplus and the budget spending and the increase of VAT uh, has to be, uh, if not the last uh, negative changes, but at least among the last one. Now let us have a look at the list of reference.